Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are all doing well. So, let's discuss today about trusted advisor. So, what is trusted advisor? So, trusted advisor, it's a kind of an advisor. So, the name suggests that it is an advisor. So, what kind of advice it does he provides? So, let's, let's go to a trusted advisor. It's in the services and then if you type trusted advisor it will come up then you go to the link where you see the details of trusted advisor okay. trusted advisor um, you have cost optimization performance security call tolerance and service limits so it gives you advice based on these five topics so let's go to the cost optimization uh, by default, in my default support plan or developer plan, I don't have the detail of cost optimization. But if you have the business plan support, you can have unlocked the cost optimization section. And then you can see how you can reduce your cost. They will suggest you using an AI based uh, checking. So low utilization of amazon ec2 instances so they will suggest you whether if any instance is uh, using very low cpu utilization then they will probably shut it down or resize it idle load balancer unauthorized amazon eps volumes and as associated elastic ip addresses amazon rds idle db instances so these are the sections of this uh, cost optimization they will provide you support or advice that's the trusted advisor but you need to have a business uh, business or enterprise support plan for that okay then i go to the next section which is performance if i click on performance there is also log for me but here you can see how you can improve performance of your application in AWS and they will give you a lot of suggestions. Then I go to security and in the security I see there are three, three, or three uh, good things, two warning and one uh, I mean uh, alert or something. That means security is free and it's available within my uh, free support plan so let's check details so um, in the security you can see that my MFA on the root account is not open so that's a alert you should always enable that and there are some other warnings as well for example I use security groups specific ports unrestricted for example I have opened some uh, ports to, to the internet and that is a, a security breach that's a big no-no in terms of security so they will give you suggestions and it's free that means we, you will get this uh, suggestion or advice within your free uh, or uh, free support plan there are a lot of other suggestions as well you can see these are all free that means i am i don't have any public uh, ebs snapshot i don't have any RDS public snapshot. I don't have any S3 bucket that is uh, public. So these are all great. But if you have an enterprise support, then you can unlock the other parts of the security. That's on security, and then we have fault tolerant that is also locked and service limits. So service limits it's available for the free plan as well. And here we can see. Um, if any of our service is reaching to its limit so by default when we start a new AWS account we have some limits for example I can have five elastic IPs for an AWS account when it starts but you can just ask the support to increase this limit and this is an uh, overview or in a dashboard where you can see all those limits which is going to be uh, filled up in soon so if it's uh, filled up soon then you get the yellow and if it's already filled then you get a lot action to increase so this is a good place to uh, check whether you have uh, you are limiting or you are uh, reaching towards your service limit 
if so then take action and just ask to AWS support to increase your limit and they will do that they are very good at that service so within one or two days they will increase your limit so that's it guys for trusted advisor um, this is a very um, interesting topic and I have taken four exams and I see trusted advisor most of the times there are some one or two questions on trusted advisor arises so I hope this will explain you what is the trusted advisor and if you have questions related to trusted advisor then you should uh, understand the trusted advisor only gives you advice on cost optimization performance security fault tolerance and service limits and if you do not have any business plan then you don't get the detail of cost optimization you don't get detail of uh, fault tolerance you don't get details of performance but you get uh, some of the suggestions for security and service limits in your free account or free support as well so that's it for today i hope this helps you to understand trusted advisor and i think you will um, you will do it good in your exams if you just give you one one time before your exam so thank you for watching my video and have a nice day. Bye.